Mass confusion tonight in Egypt. The world was expecting President Mubarak to go, but after a speech to the nation, he's still there, still president. This man's photo pretty much sums up the reaction of an entire country. When it came time for his speech to the nation on television, Mubarak seemed defiant instead. Even while the protesters were chanting, get out, get out, Mubarak, even though the Egyptian army had started the transfer of power, Mubarak is still calling himself the president of Egypt. Uh, Mona, your thoughts as you listen to these American legislators? You know, I, I want to make clear what is at stake here, Dylan. What is at stake is a message, a very clear message to young people across the Arab world. The majority of the Arab region are watching this and they are being told that your peaceful attempts for, uh, for freedom and dignity are at stake here. And we have heard all these stereotypes for years now that Arabs only understand violence. Arabs only understand the strong leader who can suppress them. Well, here is a generation of Arabs that is trying to get rid of that and is fighting for freedom and dignity in a peaceful way. And if the army crushes that, if Mubarak and Suleiman crushes that, then the message to their fellow Arabs, the majority of the region, is that peace does not work. We must take the side of these young people and understand that it is those young people who will ensure stability, not these old men who continuously, in a very paranoid way, blame satellite channels or blame outside forces. These are Egyptians calling for change in Egypt. And we must remember that, you know, I, I like to hear this from these congressmen, but I want them to, un to understand that there are lobbyists who are working overtime right now as they say these sweet words. There are lobbyists working overtime right now to keep Mubarak exactly where he is. So we must understand who we're fighting here in this country. Get those lobbyists and understand on the hill that they are the ones who are helping Mubarak and Seliman and those dinosaurs and those, those old men tell young people we are not listening to you. Take the side of the future in the Arab world and help young people understand that their peaceful desires will be listened to because we don't want violence to enter in this. Peace is the solution. There are lobbyists working overtime right now to keep Mubarak exactly where he is. So we must understand who we're fighting here in this country. Get those lobbyists and understand on the hill that they are the ones who are helping Mubarak and Seliman and those dinosaurs and those old men. We don't want violence to enter in this. Peace is the solution.